<laughs> I can stream it because I'm not popular and no one watches it. So there you go. Same. Yeah, under 15 minutes. Under 15 yeah. minutes. And yeah, that is the kind of that is basically the rule. Hit, hitbox is not hit up by that, right? They don't know about. Mm, probably not. No, I'd say, it, I'd say it's not on Nintendo's radar yet. Yeah. Hey, MLS not on Nintendo's radar. Oh, the black market Twitch stream, Nintendo guys. Feather's one of my clan names. Guys, I got some, I got some Nintendo Pokemon uh. games streaming those live, fifteen minutes. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll drop it, sorry. Yeah. No, oh, well, that's totally fine. <laughs> um, we have kind of two main topics left on the um, docket that I'm just looking at here, and we'll probably refresh over some of the other stuff too. But I would love to bring up 2014, the year of the rushed game. I think, yeah. yeah, we dubbed it that a year few... of the alpha game. Yeah, yeah, games got rushed so hard that year, and I, I would love to bring up, and I'd love to ask everyone, and I'm looking at it on Skype, so I'm just gonna go by who's in order there. Start with you, Keith. What mm. rushed? What game did you feel was rushed to the point where you hated it the most above all other rushed games? Uh, you know, what? let me check my Steam category <laughs> here. <laughs> yep. No. Go right ahead. And if anyone else would like to take over while Keith does that, feel yeah, free. Yeah, sure. I'll say the Daisy standalone. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh we have trashed that, that so hard. No. Agreed. Fuck Agreed. That so much. And you know what, well, though? Like, I know that I know that you have a video saying like unsubbed hate H one Z one pay to win. I disagree. I think it's everything that Daisy should like Daisy standalone should have been. I think they got pretty much everything that they wanted to do with Daisy and put into a game. Yeah, oh, no, and I will say H-Z- H1Z1 is yeah, way better say, than DayZ standalone. Yeah. I was just about to say Seven Days to Die was super rushed for a while. I mean, it's still technically in beta, though. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. I, I, beta games, I'm like, no, I do hate DayZ standalone because I feel that was even that was even rushed to beta, to be quite frank. And... Yeah, I feel like oh, they've just stolen uh, everyone's money and stopped development, to be quite frank. Still an What's that game? Well, how much movement have we really set, seen in the development Rust. side of it? Not a lot. Um, but Rust got problem. redone now. Rust is yours, Keith? I'm going to say Rust, and yeah, it has been redone, but it looks identical. I mean, and it, it's you log into any server in the world, somebody's going to shoot you in the head and take your rock. Yep. <laughs> That's yeah. it. Yeah, no, I, I agree on that one, definitely. And, um, Kim, you're saying Daisy Standalone, which, again, I completely... We have trashed that so hard on here, and I feel like I've probably trashed it a little bit more than anyone else, because I, sp- I spent money on Arma 2 to buy Daisy, and I thought, hey, let's play this, and it wasn't kind of anything like what I thought it would be. And then Daisy okay. came out, and it looked like what I thought it would be, and then I paid for that, and it never worked. The and problem still is wait for it to work. Like... And, I don't know what's going on with Rocket because I used to be a moderator of the original mod um, mm-hmm. like forums and we used to talk a lot about that and he would talk to us all the time about development and what he had plans for and that sort of thing and then the second the days the standalone was announced he like cut ties with like every single one of the moderators like including one of my good friends Anders who is from Sweden and he was like helping him host servers and like all this other stuff and then suddenly like Rocket was just like completely disappeared and then we have like the standalone I'm like you know what yeah, he ended a relationship rather abruptly, but we weren't being paid, whatever. And, yeah, it, it, it's essentially the same thing, except cheating is a slightly harder. Like, that was the real only improvement I saw with Standalone, was that it was slightly harder for hackers to kill you. And, Them I mean, it's still, it's still zombies glitch through walls, you get stuck in the map, whatever. It doesn't run very smoothly. No. Yeah, that's okay. one thing I really hate about early release games and rush games is gamer like it's mainly early rush early release games that i hate about is because it's an early release game they it doesn't work on like 85 percent of computers even good ones some graphics cards just have complete incompatibility issues with it and it's just like oh well it's in beta so you have to expect that and it's like no i paid for this Mm-hmm. Like I don't even mind it being beta, like that sort of thing. But I would, lo- I would have really liked to see an improvement from the mod to the standalone. There really yeah. wasn't that much of a difference. I mean, yeah, the, and I paid the for play it. style and everything was still the gr- was still great, and I have spent many many hours playing it. But I mean, if we really look at it, if cheating was way harder in Arma Two, 
then we would have just still stayed playing the mod. Yeah. Really. Uh, I'll talk you about know, a rush game, Assassin's Creed. Oh. I was about to say, Wish. Assassin's Creed Unity, that was my vote right there. Okay, well, let, uh, t let's uh, um, go to you, Chemical Geisha. Assassin's Creed, which one to start with? To start with? <laughs> well, right, I mean, for it's like I was saying yesterday, um, basically, they lost me when Ezio died, and I think me the too. game really went to shit, but Unity was so glitchy, it's like a meme now. It's, it's, <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. So ridiculous. Like I, I, I'm so sad that I spent money on it. I'm I'm very angry and it makes me want to cry. The no, I, I I completely agree. Or, or well, like the fact the, that half the game wouldn't render and Right and I haven't I had think, problems on my PC. Like well, see I don't I don't PC game. <laughs> so right. it's you know, consoles and, and you mm. know, yeah. That's and that's one thing about it. Why, it, as a co that started as a console game, it shouldn't run better on the PC than I it does in the console. Rushed. I mean, it's basically like I, I don't know. Like they've just run out of ideas, and the sieve, it's, it's all that's coming through is this crap on the on the game sound. They start out as this wonderful, enriching game that yeah. you know went from the first game that was amazing, but even got better. Yeah. And then the first better, game had world then... potential and the second game just blew that out of the water. And as you said, yeah, and it got better and better. Nasty. Brotherhood. Yeah, 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 definitely. It peaked at Brotherhood. And Ezio, like, yeah, like you said, it really did for me, it began and ended with Ezio. So, yeah. And so the heart went out of actually, it. Actually, I should say it correctly. Alcio Eldatori de Firenze, his full name. Ezio Eldatori de Firenze. Yeah. I don't know. My daughter's a big Assassin's <laughs> Creed fan, and we, we love Ezio around here. Um, oh, yeah. Who doesn't? But, yeah, who doesn't but Unity, that? she she was determined to beat it, you know, and she had so many problems, and I, I gave up eventually. Like, why did they do this to me? Like, I wanted to love it so much, and I can't. I can't find it in my heart because it's just a terrible game. Yeah. Well, it is, it is disappointing what has happened to that series. Oh, uh, by the way, I don't mean to jump back to Daisy, but I hear a rumor that they're trying to they're gonna try to use DirectX twelve. I'm not sure if I heard right or if that's true mm. or not. Uh, and there's also a side thing that you should know about DirectX twelve. You can use your NVIDIA and AMD cards together if the developers choose to develop the game that way. Oh you mean Daisy's actually gonna work on their game? Ha 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 no, uh -huh. I think it's going to be like, my reaction pretty much to that announcement's like, that's nice, but they've already lost me. I've Sony yeah. has yeah. done it better. It's done yeah. it better, far better. And yeah. It's just, I'll give like, Sony it's that. Like, it, was an, it was a fun game, but for, for something along the lines of that it took 20 minutes to connect to servers, uh, and now I'm talking about launch. I'm not talking about yeah. now. I'm sure they fixed it. But it was like 20 minutes launch. to connect to servers. Uh, nobody was on the servers when you got on. It was just, it was, it was a pain. You'd spawn in the middle of a forest. It, it, I don't know. I, I, I mean, I didn't get it right at the very beginning during launch. So yeah, I didn't have to like, you know, I didn't have the problem with joining servers and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. But um, when I first got it, they were having the item drop issue, so you can only ever, ever find, like, blueberries and, yep. like, chop down wood and make your own bases. But it was really nice, because I actually learned how to make, like, really complicated bases with, like, cool stairs and little punji sticks and all that stuff. So, I don't know. Um, I mean, right now, playing it after release, after all the hype, after a lot of people who are just there casually, um, I mean, it's Daisy. Uh, except better, and you can build bases, and there's lots of stuff to raid, and the airdrops actually add a really nice aspect to it, even though I really hate the idea of, like, the pay-to-win sort of aspect of that, but... Um, That's everywhere anymore. Yeah. But you know what? The pay-to-win pay aspect of that game actually really isn't even that powerful. It's not like, you are guaranteed to get these guns. It's like, everyone hears the airplane, everyone can see where it's dropping, everyone can see the flare. Like and everyone is going to be running towards you, and we've had we've had huge fights over these um, like over these big drops, and the pre person who pays to get it in is killed, and then we steal all their stuff, and it feels really really good. <laughs> like screw you, buddy, for spending any money on this game. We're gonna steal all your stupid weapons. That's exactly what happens. I don't know if you guys. Um, know, the big way. game called Warface, and I, I um, that was definitely pay to win. 
It was uh, on beta on Xbox 360, kind of like Battlefield, but I had a lot of fun with it. It was just, that was definitely a pay to win to get the, the best guns, but I really liked killing those people and taking their guns. It was fun. <laughs> Uh, that, that um, Eric, we kind of skipped past you. What we, I, I'd love to know your the game you felt was rushed and hated the most for that reason. Honestly, I I have really nothing to add to the whole rushed game thing. At least not this year. Um, mm -hmm. Honestly, yeah. even just from generally, no, I like ever. I mean, you know, that's the things you brought up. I mean, the games already brought up. I I agree with them. Like, yeah. <laughs> You know, get your shit together, game devs. But um, at the same time, I don't know. I'm, I, I, I haven't played a lot of those games, so uh, yeah, don't have too much to add. I, yeah, I had my enough. hopes up for 1886, and uh, you know, I watched the uh, review of Angry Joe. I, I was, uh, he was saying how the, the five game hours. The, yeah, the game was the most beautiful game out there, but there's really not. You know, much going on. There was a few scenes where you press a button to to do to do an action. It's kind of disappointing. Yeah. I would not spend right, six so bucks on that. I'm I'm gonna pl I'm gonna play Advocate to the Devil for 1886. Um, it was sixty dollars if if I'm not mistaken. That's correct. Um, okay, so sixty dollars for five hours of entertainment. And now the people who have played it said Ooh. that it was a very entertaining game. A very uh, entertaining story. However, um, they were very upset that it ended in five hours. And to that I say, what other type of entertainment can you pay $60 for and get five hours of entertainment or more? I, yeah, I... <laughs> Battlefield I mean, or... <laughs> any Call of Duty game. <laughs> yeah, any Call of Duty game. If you exclude the, the online... Any Call of Duty game. Yeah, I don't even play the regular. I just go straight to online. <laughs> yeah, see, when I first I what well, int I introduced I play, started playing Call of Duty, and I'm not a, I wasn't a big online gamer at the time. So I thought, as I do with every game, I'll play the multiplayer, play the single player, and then move on to multiplayer. No and point then, in Call of yeah, Duty. There's yeah, no point. it's just like what is no. Well, you don't even gain any skills that you can use on the multiplayer. It's a whole different. Yeah, that's okay. what, see. That's why I play single player first for one. Like, oh, I'll need to be good at the game before I go online. Nothing transfers. Nothing. <laughs> Battlefield. Let's get this straight. It's actually a hundred bucks if you if you add uh, the the what's it? Uh, uh, Don't premium. even remind me. The premium. Don't I even remind me. I paid that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, I paid every. Until now. <laughs> god. So. Is that yours, at Battlefield, Battlefield 4, Lewis, it or have you got one? It would gave them another 10 years of development. My YouTube it was the entire channel. concept of the game, stupid. My, even though my YouTube channel got 100,000 hits because of that game? <laughs> I st oh my god, dude. It just crashes after it crashes. Yeah. Can I ask a random question? Yes. Sure. Yeah. Only the silliest Lewis of the silliest. Or Luis. Either or. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just because yeah. I'm using, uh, it's it's uh, English and Spanish. They both mean the same thing. Yeah. yeah. All right. Just, just, one. just don't call him Shirley. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. I've had some people call me Shirley, and uh, some people call yeah. me Maurice. No, you did not win 1886. I'm not paying <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was funny. <laughs> uh. It was topical. <laughs> um, Dougal, per any big eats of overly rushed games yourself? Nah, seven days to die, but I mean, I'm playing it on my channel. I'm working actually right here on a server, to uh, building a server so people can join me on making a seven days to die faction server. But otherwise, nah. I mean, <laughs> we, talked, we talked in detail over the reskin Battlefield 4. Uh, yeah. Last time, so yeah. Did you guys, yeah. Did you guys hear about that uh, three hundred dollar, uh, three hundred thousand um, dollar? Was it a pre-order on a game, uh, Dying Light? Yeah, we were. We spoke about that actually in the last one. You weren't here for it. Was we went on a huge discussion about it. It's like and and calculated how much everything cost and what we got for it and everything. 
it's yeah, it's like an obscene amount. There's like a a hundred and eighty dollars worth of DLC or something like that. That's a ball. Oh, oh it's a valve, yeah. yeah that evolved. was a ball, well, sorry. Dying light, you actually get a house made like uh mm -hmm. one of the buildings in, in the uh, Dying Light. But you gotta be mm. rich. You gotta be a rich motherfucker. It, it has a gym, has a gaming yeah. area inside. Yes, buddy, you, you like <laughs> Dying Light too, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> I love Dying Light. D Dying yeah, Dying Light, Light is awesome. I've been streaming it on my Twitch. Yeah, no, Dying Light is really cool. It's so, di like, I love how dynamic the zombies interact with each other in the environment and stuff like that. And Well, it took a good concept that was Dead Island, which I liked, but it was very repetitive and, you know, very grinding. And, and it, it put a whole aspect on it with the whole nighttime, daytime thing. I, I mean, I'm a big fan of yeah. of horror games anyway. I'm, I'm very too. pleased with it. Well, I just want to say, my hated game for being rushed it was dead on. It, um... Right, this is just from personal experience, but I got it on the console before I had Xbox Live, uh, and I got it when it was brand new, and thus couldn't get any patches because I didn't have Xbox Live. And it was the most broken piece of crap I've ever played. If for, ex like for example, there was no hard save system, so autosaves were the only thing you had. So if you made a mistake, or for example, which was very common... When you respawned, because it was a random regen area, sometimes you'd respawn next to the boss zombie that killed you with no weapons equipped, and it would kill you again, repeatedly, in a loop, forever, so you have to restart the game. And that could be after 20 hours of play. So th now, now, the game got patched to bits, and I after getting Xbox Live, I kept playing it because I wasn't done yet, and it was instantly a fun, no longer annoying game to play, but that to me was the most rush game I've ever played. All the dead spaces Hard are saving. still broken. All, all the no, Dead, dead Island. Dead Island? Oh. Yeah, okay. Dead Island. Yeah. Never have I been more in love with saves than when I played Dishonored and tried to go stealth mode. Me too. Yeah. It was so yeah. random. <laughs> no, actually, I don't think I've ever been as in love with saves as I have until the Walking Dead game. Yeah. The, the Telltale, yeah, series one. Because, and minor spoilers, but it's a zombie game. So you think, hey, here's this post-apocalyptic crazy human being. I should probably kill him before he kills me. And then you do. And then the child you look after sees it and you're like, okay, well, I have to unsave this. I can't traumatize her. But I also can't leave this guy alive because he might come back and kill us. Oh, no. Oh, dear. So it's just like say, undo save after undo save because I kept saying the wrong thing in front of this child who I cared very deeply about because the game made me. <laughs> You'd like uh, Life is Strange then? I really Square need Nets, to get that. Uh, yeah. Because yeah, uh, you can too. rewind time. And uh, I just released pick a different path. second. I need I to buy that like this... tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I just released the second last episode of part one while we were talking. Mm -hmm. So... Mm -hmm. If you want spoilers on my channel, I'm playing the game. No, any game that story based, I check, I play myself before watching any YouTubers I like, which I will watch yours because you are a YouTuber. I very much enjoy watching. So, thank you. And oh, we still got to record together. Yeah, definitely, man. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't get onto you today. The work on the house got out of hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Back to topic. Yeah, back to topic. <laughs> um, actually, our next topic on the t on the docket isn't exactly gaming related, but it does relate to everyone here and every gamer out there, even though it's not exactly gaming related. I'm going to hand it over to you, Keith, because this is your yeah. big subject, I feel, and it's that the FCC have recently okayed net neutrality, and this is yes. a really big deal. Um, Eric seems like he has wants to go, so before I hand it over I'll to you... I'll let uh, Keith go well, ahead. All right. I, I was just going to give a, a background to it. So, um, you know, basically, uh, a lot of people aren't very educated about net neutrality and what it actually meant. So, um, a lot of high speed internet uh, uh, companies in the U.S., not only the U.S., but in other countries as well, uh, such as Verizon, Time Warner, Comcast, want to be able to block websites they don't like or auction off faster traffic speeds uh, to the highest bidders, like Netflix and things like that. Um, and they've actually argued about online companies and, and services that hog a lot of the web traffic. 
uh, to homes, such as streaming videos on Netflix, YouTube, uploading uh, for our co as content creators, same with uh, Twitch, um, that they should share the cost of the expanding the uh, and maintaining the pipes, if you will, uh, that deliver the internet content to the consumers. So um, a lot of it was um, just basically all uh, tons of... Uh, you know, uh, uh, of the con or the co uh, internet companies wanting to charge more money, and basically coming up with like a tiered uh, system. A lot of them came up with tiered systems: pay fifty bucks for this, pay seventy bucks for this type of internet, and it's ridiculous. Um, we already pay out the ass for internet. Um, I don't even want to talk about my cell phone bill. Ugh. But um, so, Eric, take it away. Sure. Um, there are two things I want to mention uh, when it comes to this. Uh, first one is, is kind of unrelated, but I figured I'd mention it anyway. Um, and it also happened recently, and that was the reclassification of broadband. So what now classifies as broadband, the uh, mm -hmm. kind of specs have been raised. So um, while, while they can still call it super fast ultra internet uh, and lie to their customers, they can't technically call it broadband. Uh, I believe the rates have gone up. I mean, that the, the Stats have gone up, so since hopefully uh, that helps. Oh, oh, my bad. Uh, yeah. Since we're talking about this, uh, uh, you know, Comcast is now doing some shady stuff. Like I was saying earlier, uh, they're, they're blocking, surprise. they're blocking HBO Go right now, and and this is a violation of the new FCC law. Hmm. Absolutely. Well, the thing is, though, guys, is that the the problem is is. Yes, that got passed into law, but then we have the the new Internet Freedom Act, which is just a law to repeal the last law. Just goes to show you how U.S. Con Congress is just actually completely useless when it comes to oh, you know, dealing with anything. No offense, Americans, but it just it's a big, huge crap show. And I'm glad that know you know what's what going on. The initial yeah. precedent has been set, but um, I mean, I don't want to make it like completely U.S. centric. I mean. Um, broadband providers in the UK are already blocking mm -hmm. websites. Actually. Ireland there too. I was just going to say, oh, Ireland yeah. they're atrocious for it and um, I'm really really scared about the net neutrality thing in America because I know how huge it's going to impact here. And God, I love um, Sweden. If anything, it's, <laughs> it's, it's not quite real net neutrality in the sense that um, all they really did was reclassify um, these uh, internet providers as Title II. Um, which, you know, isn't technically net neutrality. I mean, it's a step, I guess you could say, in the right direction. Um, it's also a step in different directions. Um, but it's not quite fully, completely net neutrality. There's still loopholes. Um, there's still benefits that they're getting from this. Um, one thing that is good, though, is that now Google can, like, compete much better with them. So Google yes. Fiber, hopefully, will be coming very soon. Um, Oh, by the way, a little tidbit. Uh, Verizon and Comcast have already been using a lot of Title II um, features, uh, like mm -hmm. the benefits of it, even though they're not Title II. And now that they've been classified Title II, they're, gonna su they're suing the government, which yeah. is funny. They're dicks. So I, I, I actually I have Ver Verizon Fios, and um, excuse me. Nope, not going to happen. Um, so... Uh, for anybody who was curious, I was about to sneeze. Um, <laughs> Verizon <laughs> Fios, the that, way that they <laughs> the way that they have their internet set up is that you pay for different tiers of speed. Um, with Fios, though, it, it clearly blows anything um, Time Warner has out of the water and for the same price uh, or Comcast. So. I don't really care because I pay, I think, 75 or 100 a month for my internet, but I get 150 up and 150 down. And that's I more bandwidth. That's yeah, that's more bandwidth than I'll ever need in an entire lifetime. This is going to be maddening to some people. There's a company here in Toronto, which I'm not with, uh, sadly. Um, yeah, exactly. They don't provide to me, but. Um, they're called uh, Beanfield, I believe. For I think it's like around thirty bucks, you get uh, hundred fifty up, one hundred down. Um, 
And that's Canadian. So that um, would be like twenty, twenty five dollars twenty five dollars US. The world record to... for who has the fastest internet in the world is the Queen of Sweden. She has yeah. nine and a half gigs a second. Oh wow. Here, 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 in, here in Sweden here in Sweden converted to dollars, it's about five dollars for a standard hundred up and hundred down wow. uh, connection, a stable connection, and that's standard in every house. And that's um, awesome. If you if you pay around what was it like seven converted around seven dollars a month, you get up to two hundred and fifty up and down. Do you have and any it's stable in every house. Funny chance or anything like that, you know? <laughs> yep. <laughs> but you know the thing is uh, about these companies, Comcast, Verizon, and so on. I believe the uh, the actual profit margin is something like ninety seven percent. It's yeah. an absurd number. Yeah, ninety seven percent. They they oh. have, Comcast has uh, made enough several times over to to rebuild the whole infrastructure. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> it's just I'm paying eighty bucks for. Uh, was it 25 to 50 down? It's not, it's not constant, okay? When people get online, then I'm really boggled down. Or when I'm trying to watch Netflix, okay. I see you. And they just, you know, it just, yeah. yeah. It goes to shit. Wait, should we be talking about them so badly? Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're going to start DDoSing me again? I'm, I'm hosting the call, so... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're you're okay. I need to move to where you live, Matt. Uh, sweet. I, I seriously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, so it's... does everyone else? <laughs> come to Sweden. Sweden can be like yes. no. Yeah, I'm I'm working right now, by the way. So having <laughs> have, having have, having a beer. I'm solving issues right here while we're talking. So. You're me. Well, <laughs> I'm actually going to have to go, guys, because it's like 10 o'clock, which is an yep. hour more. Yeah, hour I'm going to have to go, so. too. I still have kiddos to put in bed. No yep, problem at all. Same here, so we're, we're going to end it up. Um, any, uh, since you two have to go first, um, Kim, why don't you plug anything that you want to plug, then um, Chemical, you can plug something, and then... Yeah, sure. Um, I already linked the uh, Pink Fae 1v1 Dota tournament. I don't know if anyone here plays Dota, but feel free to sign up. And thank you very much, Wave Gamers, for sponsoring me. And if you guys are ever interested, check out my channel, Play with Kimberly. I do professional casting and that sort of thing. And yeah, that's Chuck the link thank in you the for chat. listening. I shall. I'll, I'll do all of the links. All a whole links. bunch of links in the chat. All right, Chemical, you're up. <laughs> Um, I just want to plug my clan again. We're Xbox One, PlayStation 4, PC, RedSheRebels.com, um, all female. And, uh, yeah, watch my Twitch channel, Chemical Geisha. Follow me on Twitter. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm new to all this. I, I'm behind. Yep. Um, I, I just, I just want to say to both of you, since you're going as well, but to everybody here, and. Uh, wrapping it up it has been a wonderful time of you and um i would Absolutely. love to have you back this has been like I, I this is one of the things i look forward to most every week and we have had just an absolutely amazing panel this week so thank you all this is this is keith is the host but i do help him out a lot thank you for joining us here on alcohol arcade it has been just so much fun <laughs> oh absolutely i've loved being on here with you guys it's yeah, fun it to really talk fun. to people who aren't Tech and and nerd culture, stupid. Like in real life, <laughs> <laughs> we all have our different brands of it. We're all we're all geeks. Yep. Yes, yep. yes, we are. And um, ho maybe hopefully by next week, I'll probably have one of those tattoos I've discussed. Awesome! You're gonna have to like rip off your shirt and show us show us all. On yeah, yeah. No. on the wrist. <laughs> I'll your shirt. We'll be blocked. We'll be blocked on on Twitch. Hey, yeah, don't do that. Tank top, yeah. He's okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, for anybody who's staying past uh, ten o'clock, we're going to be doing a couple more giveaways because I still have more games to give away, and I I want to <laughs> give them away. So um, if you guys want some free games, please feel free to stay on. We'll we'll go a little bit longer and just talk about random crap or something like that. Um, yeah, anybody else really who is leaving within the next few minutes, feel free to take this opportunity and uh, promote yourself. I promote myself here because I gotta leave too. And then we have the next problem. I'm the host of the call. Ooh 
<laughs> uh, I'll, I'll make a new call. It's not a big deal. Yeah. I guess I'll promote myself because I know I need to take the dog for a walk. Uh, I yeah, mean, I, I probably got to. I think we all probably got to go because I got to go myself. I'm so tired. It is three, 10 past 3 a.m. So 10 past okay. 4. Uh, I'm going to have a mix show very soon, guys, on Hitbox because they don't have any copyright bullshit. I'm going to be doing uh, Damn That's Old School on Sundays. And, of course, I'm going to be mixing uh, a lot of uh, electronic dance music. Probably on Saturdays, it's going to be good times. Yes. Yeah, I look forward to it myself. Awesome. Google? Yeah, I just plugged my channel there in the chat. Um, I see you all next week again. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Bye, guys. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye, everyone. Eric, are you oh, staying with me? Uh, yeah, sure, sure. I'll, I'll stay. Okay. Well, I I might stay for a little while, but I will at least say kind of goodbye at the end of the show. Um. Hashtag CJ McKay here. I work on the YouTube channel, The Dragon Project, as well as on the awesome uh, network, Five Star. Um, yeah, I will post links now in a second because I have to get the stuff. But also, this month I'm doing a $50 giveaway worth of prizes on my channel. So if anyone wants to check it out, I, I will post um, the link to my channel. And I might talk about it a little bit more later, just during our kickback session. Um, if anyone's actually interested. And as well, I think we're playing a teaser trailer in a little while. That's to do with yes. the giveaway itself. Yes. yes, um, yes, yes. Talking about giveaways. Um, okay, I see you, you already cut the picture. But no, no, you're about, good. Keep talking. To talking about giveaways. Uh, once I reach 1,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel, I will give away a laptop. The same laptop I'm sitting on right now, like um, streaming from and recording on. Uh, that's the kind of laptop I will be giving away when I reach a thousand subscribers. So everybody, help me out and get my channel up to a thousand. For anyone that's interested in music, I might end up giving giving these puppies away, as uh, I'm getting something real, real nice soon, and I won't be needing those. They're touch sensitive uh, little DJ decks that you could use with uh, Tractor or or Mix Vibes. If you guys aren't familiar with that, I'm probably talking alien to you guys. You don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, and if anyone wants to follow me, there, Twitter. <laughs> He's so enthusiastic. Twitter. Uh, follow me. He's so enthusiastic. That's the best ever. Ca the, Canadian politeness there. The, the women are all just drooling over you, man. They just. <laughs> We're on you. I don't like drool. That's gross. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, by the way, can we have a, an, an informal Q and A and and stuff like that? Yes. Oh, yeah, we do. We actually do that every week. So, yeah. yeah I'm, okay. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna drop out now. So okay. I'm gonna kill the kill the call. Somebody needs to make a new call. See you all yeah, next I... week. Bye bye. Uh, -huh. uh We didn't have to make a new call. Oh, we didn't have to make it. Brilliant. No, we don't have to. We're good. Cool. Because um, I I think I picked up the call, so oh. I, ah, it, cool. it's fine. Um, I'm just waiting for him. You know what? I'm just going to... No, I don't want to do that. Oop, oop, shit. Oh, by the way, uh, on the stream, it's just your face at the moment. Yes, I'm working on it. Sorry. Yeah, okay, I was just wondering. Just... Uh, dun, 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 dun. Do we have uh, 73 viewers? Yeah, apparently. That's why I kind of wanted to keep this going a little bit. Yeah. This is definitely. interesting. This is really cool. For anyone that's... Uh, I have part of this on my hitbox. I figured out how to stream this properly. On my hitbox, I had problems. Oh, cool. Times. So I have part of the uh, uh, the broadcast. Why part of it is because most of it didn't have audio. Uh, X split problems. Oh yeah, you should plug my hitbox. I'm streaming tomorrow. Woo! Oh, cool, man. Or Link me your through. hitbox because I definitely want to watch. Hitbox.tv slash Aragorn, man. Okay. I have the best command in chat. Yeah. Part of me just wants to show you my command. Can I can I share my screen on, on Skype? Shh, shh, dude. Aragorn yeah. Yeah. <laughs> slash Thug Life. <laughs> I don't know how that'll work, but we'll see uh, that instead of him. Alright, uh, excuse me if this totally screws everything up. Um Whoa. That totally screwed up. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> Should I do this? No, I shouldn't. Okay, okay. I'll stop. Oh, the lag, the I'm just going to so give you guys weird. my link. And here, yeah. here. I mean, 
Is that okay? Yeah. No, no, please do. Go there and type at E-R-I. At E-R-I. In chat. Just waiting for it to load up now. I, uh, I've had so many problems today that I'm not going to even attempt to do anything. All right. right I'll send you Gaiazo, actually. That's probably easier than anything. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> that face. <laughs> this is what it does. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like that. That's good. Yeah, that's all good. All right. Let's see. Um... <laughs> We we dropped. Uh, hang on. Uh, da, da, da. And we still got some people. All right. Yep. Let's let me see. Uh, has anybody not entered into the raffle? If you haven't, do this. Yeah. And speaking of the giveaways, um, as well as giveaways here on our Twitch, we will also be doing giveaways on the um, YouTube channel Five Star Network. So I'm gonna link that right now for everybody because we'll probably be doing slightly bigger giveaways there and more organized ones and proper events. So I just I'll say, I'll put that in for everybody who wants to check out our other events that we will all be kind of maybe part of. Something. Just out of curiosity, is there any DJs in the uh, chat here? If there is, I'm looking out for you. Y your mom. <laughs> Close enough. That's, I don't. <laughs> I don't even know. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, that's bad. That was, that was just no, terrible. Oh, that was good. That brings it to <laughs> my eye. You're so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you. Guys Have you ever? Uh, uh, but dude, I got Anthony sent me over like two or three of those uh, those um, PNGs. Yeah, I just use them whenever I can. <laughs> you know, I I used to, uh, I used one of them when he was twerking. I made a twerking one, uh, which I showed uh, oh. Keith not too long ago. <laughs> You don't have the link to that. I do don't you? know why that's as funny to me as it is. But <laughs> He's like, hey, did someone fart in here? <laughs> that's Poor Anthony. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, Anthony's the best man. He, oh, oh, um, oh, wait, he's wait, been so wait. kind to me with his time. Him him down, out on the project. Flip him upside down. The Spider-Man kiss scene. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> He's got to do it now. He's got to do it. He's got to do it. <laughs> He's got to do it. <laughs> We're waiting. We're, we're waiting. Anthony's going to kill me. <laughs> there he is. We're waiting. We're waiting. Okay. Anthony's already made up Who with himself, though. Who wants to see? Okay, okay. Oh, okay. uh, no. I... <laughs> 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 oh, it's, uh, I don't want to see it to be quite frank. <laughs> Anthony's in chat. Oh, he is. That's amazing. <laughs> Who wants to see? <laughs> He's in chat. We got to do it. You got to do it. Oh, my God. I deleted it. We always it. have some kind of dare every uh, week. Since CJ <laughs> didn't do one uh, this week. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Call me childish. But I have this. I don't know if anyone's interested. Oh my god, lips. <laughs> I lips. Note how oh. he tried to change the subject. He tried to I, change. I, no, I just. I oh, just no. If we were okay, going to I play see. something like that, I'd recommend the online version of Cards Against Humanity. Oh, personally. That's, yeah. That's, good. That right. is, that's just good. Let me give away another game. Anthony, not, you haven't. Not so entered, wholesome, family fun. You, you haven't entered our, our contest yet. CJ, hold on, hold on. CJ, would you do the, the Spider-Man kiss scene with Anthony's picture? I'm still, I'm still trying to get someone to do that. I'm going to have a cigarette. <laughs> He's got to get in the mood. I really, I, I just... No. He's too sexy. For, he, Anthony's too sexy for you. He is his um he is his really overbearing sexuality is intimidating to me. <laughs> Too sexy for the stream. Too sexy for the stream. Huh. <laughs> Sparkles. 
<laughs> the face. The face. Oh. I can't do it. If you're if you're putting that in front of me. I, there's too much beard on the action if, if you flip it the other way. I love how it's just so casual. You have Anthony, flips around and just slides. <laughs> those eyes, man. Those eyes. Oh, oh god. I do want to say though, if um Anthony is still with us, thank you very much for all your time. He's been <laughs> 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 did, did everybody go mute? Can you guys hear me now? I can't yeah. even see. I, yeah. I gotta yeah. like face the camera, or I don't know where I'm at. I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> Things got weird. Things got weird in here. <laughs> Are you just bumping cheeks? That's uh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's yes. tangled in my beard, my long beard. <laughs> when should I stop growing this, guys? Never. Never. Dude, it's hip right now. Yeah, I feel like I need to shave, though, to be honest. I, uh, you know how a real I'm man shaves? Lazy. They don't. Mm. They don't shave. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It's not Tom, we, got, we got Anthony. We got Anthony up in, up in here. I'm a little disappointed that you shaved, man. You had a full out manly <laughs> beard, and then you just cleaned yourself up. Sad. My bearded Dude, you brother. You should see my <laughs> Look at this thing. Can you even tell? I, it's so large. Yeah, it's the same with me. Mine's barely there. It's not anything. <clears throat> well, you know, <clears throat> I, I, I got this weird thing happen to my mustache. One part doesn't really grow. I don't know if you can tell. It looks like I screwed up my shade. So, yeah. <laughs> that part kind of All right. Let's give away a game. Hang on. Because yeah. I got two yeah. more games to give away. Yeah, and I uh, was saying there before, everything went all screwy. Thank you to Anthony for all his time. He's been very helpful to me with a project I'm working on, and I just I really wanted to say that, especially while he's here. I said it, but I, I don't know if he was here when I said it the first time, and um, it's the trailer we're going to be playing soon, so you're going to get to see a bit of he worked on that too. He's been very generous to me with his time, and yeah, thank you. And I can't wait for this giveaway. What are we? Which game are we giving away this one? Um, we actually have nobody in chat uh, who has entered in the raffle. Oh, um, oh that was unfortunate. Yeah, we have um, someone that makes beats as a hobby. Uh, hey, that's all good, man. Uh, uh, follow me on uh, Hitbox. Uh, I'll I'll add you to a group that I'm trying to create. I'll check out your music. You know, you never know if your music's good until someone else checks it out. Yeah, yeah definitely. Oh yeah. By the way, um, could everyone please go and just out of curiosity, just drop all. Figured I'd Checking it out now. now. By the way, I didn't. He is stupid. <laughs> Just want to know how opinionated everyone is. Yeah. 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 I have uh, given my answer anyway. <laughs> he is stupid. Oh yeah, I'm looking. It's it's coming up pretty strongly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, it's it's What's coming up pretty fruit? strongly. Anthony's face is right in front of me. Uh, what do you? What do you? What do you? <laughs> should we elaborate on this? <laughs> Hitbox is not familiar. Hitbox is, you know, Hitbox is a uh, uh, another streaming client similar to Twitch, just not quite there yet with popularity. I love Hitbox. Hitbox is, it's got its bugs though. I mean, I talked to Hitbox, uh, Anthony. Uh, they don't have it to where you can, you can, uh, my problem with it is they don't have it to where you, you can put in the tag whatever kind of music you're, you're playing. And yes, I know uh, Twitch is, and Hitbox are gaming oriented, but I, I, my big thing has been for years trying to bring a D DJ community, uh, bring up a DJ community. So I feel it's kind of important. Back in the day, there used to be a D big DJ community I was a part of. Uh, we just we just don't get that anymore. Everyone's out there from for themselves. Mm -hmm. In that in that world, everyone's like fuck you, fuck everyone else. Excuse my language, but that's how everyone's mentality is. No, it. no, my language is fine. It's the Angry Gamer podcast. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Yeah, actually, I've been sworn all day. I'm surprised. Same. I've been pretty. I think I've been pretty good this week. Not a single fucking swear. <laughs> you know, that's you're cutting really off great. my head. And, uh, you know, that's fucking awesome, man. Fucking. Oh my jaw! My jaw is absolutely killing me, though. I think I need to run down and get some ice water, cause wisdom teeth. So. Well, I mean, what we can do is we can always just save the last two games for next week. Um. No, I'll be back in two minutes. I just need to get some ice well, water. Well, I'm just saying because um, we don't really have that many active people in the chat right now. We just have um, uh, people watching this from websites. Yeah. And so. By the way, by the way, well, uh, the, uh, I can be here for a little longer now. My family is here to take care of the dog. Huh. Cool. That's the only reason why I had to go. Uh, buddy was looking at me uh, uh, and uh, he wanted to go outside. Yeah, he, po well, he, points, he points. He points. To think um, just... Yeah, I'll be back in two minutes anyway. I'm just going to yeah. grab something cold for my jaw. What link for the hitbox? I think they're talking about uh, Lewis's. Mine? Oh, okay. I, I wasn't Mine? sure if it was, you know. <laughs> my, and once I get my DJ equipment, guys, I'm going to primarily focus on uh, uh, running like a radio show. Like I used to do back in the day. <laughs> Sorry, I, I couldn't resist. <laughs> Right. Shameless self promotion. Hey, it's okay. We're all here. We're that's all that's here. what this is about. Yeah. I've uh, I've I've had the pleasure of of seeing many people DJ live on on streams, mm -hmm. and um, many of them just fade one song in and out, and then turn like the the what's the uh, dial the one that's you know you know and that's it. Uh, when. When people that don't know too much about DJing, oh, and I, I, mind you, there is your fake ones out there, Paris Hilton. <laughs> Dude, I saw a video of Paris Hilton. She she had, you guys know how CD players look like. So, uh -huh. yeah, it, it'll say it's if you're playing a track. If you're playing on two CD players, both screens are blank. They're not even fucking powered on. And I had to smack myself in the face and she and go, she's making millions of dollars doing yep. that? Yep. Oh, that they makes me angry. She can fart and make millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. like, and it just made me angry because I, I'm from the old school where you had, to, you had, if you weren't on point on blending, you were kicked out of the club, your DJ in. And I'm not saying digital DJing is all that way. No, you have your skilled individuals, but then you have the handful that are like Pauly D that, that make us look bad. <laughs> oh, so I think not... music in general nowadays yeah. has... And I know, I know. Hipster. Call me hipster. Call me, um, you know, an idiot, whatever. Um, I honestly think <laughs> so much. Um <laughs> With I, I, love, music. It's, it's... I love what I love what uh, Anthony just said. Yes, uh, and uh, there was actually a big thing in the DJ community against Paris Hilton. A, a big movement that ha that happened. So, by the way, could we move Anthony on, on to okay. CJ's? Yeah, she, she should join us. Thanks, Jay. How's it going? <laughs> Why don't Anthony join us? And my brother's over here with his shirt off trying to get in. No. <laughs> this show has just. Yeah. Oh, uh, right. <laughs> By the way, uh, for, for most of you that don't know about DJing, when you see a, a, a DJ uh, twist knobs, it's usually the EQ. They'll take out the bass or the hi-hats or the mid, so it doesn't sound like it's colliding together when you're matching uh, the, the beats, when you're matching the songs. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was just laughing at the... No, no, I'm laughing. I, I, I think uh, what Anthony said is hilarious. <laughs> CJ's going to take a minute, and then he's going to realize. I'm checking it now, yeah. Um, Try to do his voice. 
<laughs> CJ get out of my frame. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, I'm but, guessing but Anthony way, I've been is... Kinda, I've been kind of hinting at Anthony that uh, there's DJs that, out there that would pay pay for a voice pack by him. I'm dead serious. I'm trying to give it, do it so Anthony has my hair. <laughs> there should be an app where you can combine Anthony's face with everyone else's face. There should be an app. <laughs> there should be an app. With any Anthony's voice, you're talking to it, dude. Make make one, make one. You make one. I'm not even playing. You think I'm joking? God. You, think I'm jo- you know how many Jeez, radio show DJs would, would, would be using your voice? Hell yes. Dude, you know what? There's on when Freedom should develop that app that they said they wouldn't develop, and just make it a troll app. Yep. You know. A bunch of George uh, catchphrases, for example. Like, you know those ones where you click the button and it says something like, like the Smosh app, and it just says, shut up? Uh, yep. Maybe yes. enough of that. Why not just have a George one? It yep. says George things. And then, like, a face changer to change Anthony, to change you into Anthony. Yes. doesn't even have to work. It just has to put up an image of Anthony. That's it. Like, no, oh, look, it transformed me into Anthony. Yeah. That's a, that would be a picture pretty of Anthony, bitch. Uh, and Anthony, uh, Anthony, I'm dead serious. I'm gonna keep pushing on that. I'm gonna bother him till his ears bleed. Make an app. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I totally agree. <laughs> oh <laughs> my goodness! You know, from this angle on on CJ's uh, little uh, corner, family. Uh, I'm sorry, the uh, Brady Bunch corner. Um, yeah. It looks like you have your hand somewhere. And Anthony is your puppet. <laughs> <laughs> like, and, comment, subscribe. Hi there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Spitfire seven two nine eight nine seven two one two five 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 seven nine eight playing Minecraft. <laughs> All right. Is um was Anthony farting there? I saw some wisps of of. <laughs> That's what happens when you eat Taco Bell and Border Bell. Especially Border <laughs> Bell. Anthony's going to start calling my Skype. Get it right! Anthony is now the uh, the star of the stream, and he's not even in the stream. <laughs> yeah. Get him in here. If, he, if you have time, it would be a, a, lot of, a lot of kicks. A lot of fun. He doesn't want to come in here. No, he's too shy. Hashtag the real voice of freedom. The, the real epic voice of freedom. Oh, my jaw so sore. God damn. Um, um, it's, a lot, it's a lot of quiet now. They just don't know what got, to say. I got nothing to talk about. I, I was going to give away the two games, but um, nobody I said, has Can we please it. just play Mad Libs? No, um, about, ooh, yell not, ooh, or just she, yell not. They already, always. they already won. Oh. What about Microsoft yeah, wanting to? Uh, wh- what about yeah. Microsoft wanting to have you uh, buy a game once on Xbox and then you own it on PC? That would be That's amazing. Cool. <laughs> I, I'd subscribe to that, or yeah. vice versa. Yeah, I would. I don't like ass, how Steam uh, and every other service works. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know. They, they, uh, it looks like they uh, want to work with Steam, with Valve there, because they had it at the tech demo. Why would they do that? Hmm. I don't know. Can, can we actually, like, I actually, going back to the app thing, when I said Anthony's face, no, now now I just realized. I just want Anthony saying freedom. You know, in his videos where he's like, freedom! Yeah. Uh, I, I'm going to take that. I'm going to legitimately take that video and because uh, I'm going to be able to DJ videos too. Uh, I'm going to scratch that and it's going to sound awesome. On the <laughs> yes, freedom. Anthony. You missed, freedom. you missed the uh, conversation we had about the NVIDIA shield. Yeah. Dude, Anthony, That's what happens when you don't watch the podcast, Anthony. Anthony, they're bringing out a console, man, and it's going to be awesome because you're going to be able to do 4K, 60 frames per second on the grid. Now, our internet infrastructure is not ready, 
So I, I would say don't strictly focus on that. I would say uh, to them, focus on third-party developers. And it's not as powerful, the console alone, without the grid. Uh, it's not as powerful as the PS4 or the Xbox, but I like the concept of it. I really like the concept of it. Sorry, I'm not talking very much, by the way, guys. Just my jaw with wisdom teeth, it's in a bad way. Gonna get some whiskey on it. I'll help. <laughs> Anthony I'm says, live. freedom! On live. Uh, where have uh, I heard on live before? On live was a dating kind of thing uh, back in the day. It was a, a, hey, a 1 800 number. How I know this, my ex had me call that all the time for some reason. I don't know why. She was obsessed with me calling there. There's a lot of dirty conversations. Hello, Xbo and 247 Reed. Welcome to our live. Would you talk to Welcome back. <laughs> Alcohol arcade. Guys, can we please play Mad Libs? There's one called Fable 3. Play Mad Libs. It's, let's, let's it's short. Up. See, it's short. I really let's want to. Hey, hey, whatever you want to do, man. It's. I'm here. I'm, I'm hyped up because of the coffee and the frappuccino. Not a, not a plug. I'm open to it, though. One, two, three, four. And Keith, five, if you are up for it, if it's possible, we I'd love to, even if we want to take off my frame for it, a game of Cards Against Humanity online at some stage. Bye, Anthony. I am getting ready to end the stream pretty soon. Ah, okay. Uh, just because I have to work tomorrow, so. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, tomorrow, sorry. though, I would love to do a game of Cards Against Humanity for anybody on the stream that might want to play yeah, I actually wouldn't mind streaming that. That yeah. would be yeah. I, I think it would be a lot of fun. Uh, like four, four. Well, actually, uh, hmm. Huh. We can discuss it in the podcast chat. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm and free anytime after five Eastern. Could I get nine objectives? Nine objectives. Yeah, people in chat as well. Just yell them out. An exclamation. What's an exclamation? Let's do that in the Wieners. Hall. What? what? Wieners. Mine would be kind of racist. <laughs> okay. I would be kind well, of racist. Well, an explanation is already Wieners, so yeah. it's not going to get uh, much worse than that. Adverb. Oh, here's, here comes in my dyslexia where I can't remember what any of the things are. Uh, uh, like quickly or... or yeah. Quietly. Yeah. Uh, there you go. <laughs> that is not an <laughs> adverb. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, and adjectives, just yell out adjectives. Yeah. I'm gonna um, say um, harshly. Hmm. Harshly. Okay, that's actually yeah. Sure. Taco Bell. <laughs> Taco Bell is not an adjective. <laughs> I'll wait, use it as a noun. Wait, wait. Did he did he say objective or? Okay. No, adjective. Sorry. Yeah, the boring one. Uh, what did he say? <laughs> blue. Tinkerbell. Actually, I'm just going to go to a random word generator. That's a good idea. It's probably a good idea. I'm we're, I'm really stupid with English. Well, I'm just I'm in a lot of pain at the moment. I can't think very straight. My jaw. And then I'm just going to read a random story. Large. It's a good one. Sore. <laughs> if you guys didn't hear me earlier, this will be archived on my hitbox. Finally, that's something I've been wanting to do. Last time it took me 200 minutes to upload the last one. That's why I kind of give up on uploading the uh, every uh, gamers podcast. And the render was oh my god. Oh, I got an idea. I got an idea. First person in chat who gives a adjective, adjective. Gets a copy of Goat Simulator. Oh, that's awesome! That's there you go. Cool. Get rid of that I game. I could win that. No, you can't. Yeah, I know. But you already have it, don't you? I do. Well, I could give it to someone I know who I want to play it, so yeah. then we can talk about it <laughs> and play, maybe play oh, it together. Okay, okay. now no just part. nouns. So things. I just need two of them. Two uh, random things. Hammer. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> yep, I just I looked at what I had, what was nearby. There's a hammer. Well, he said he failed in school. Sorry, I can't read your. Dildo. I, I, I'm also <laughs> dyslexic, so he said it failed in school. So, it, I don't even remember a good part of school. But then again, you know, uh, people smoking crack in the track and field area, getting secondhand smoke, kind of, uh, you know, yeah. I was in a ghetto area. Probably didn't help. <laughs> Lewis apparently grew up in Compton. Uh, you know, Mountain View was a eh, kind of part of the. It, it it was you had to be careful. You had to be careful there because half the school would be the Northeños red, and the other would be uh Sorenos blue. You could not wear a United States flag. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is going to be weird. I just realized there's... The... Okay, would you like me to read it? Yes, I would. definitely. I, I feel like I'm that. revisiting my childhood right here. This is awesome. Anyway. <laughs> <clears throat> Once upon a time, a large hot dog got hold of a sore bone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he was walking across a dazzling bridge and saw his blue reflection in the water. Wieners, he exclaimed. <laughs> there is another purple dog with another grouchy bone. I'll make an ordinary grab, take his, and then I'll have two delicate bones. With that, the racial dog jumped into the water and harshly drowned. <laughs> Moral, a dildo in the hammer is worth two in the Taco Bell. <laughs> Doesn't even make sense, but okay. Oh, oh I love a it. clip. That's going on freedom. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to send this <laughs> clip to George and just make him pull down freedom. <laughs> oh. he's... I want to keep then he's, just Then he's probably going to say, how did you get my Skype? And why are you sending this to me? <laughs> Who here thinks that there should be like a, a freedom hub that should be like, not porn or adult oriented material, not com uh, porn. Or anything, but just no, saying. no, I agree. Yeah, that'd be cool. Be sure anything that Big C puts out is uh, wow. <laughs> you know, what if Big, Big C David. got got uh, it would be funny if Big C got sponsored by uh, Pornhub because that would go just that would go together like like that. That would just that's perfect because Big C sounds like a porn name, yeah. <laughs> He's got it now. I just, <laughs> it's slow. I just realized Big C. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. My name is Big C. I, mean, I figured that's what his nickname was good. after. I, yeah. That's why I always thought his name was that. This is Big C. I can't do his voice, but. Who hey, here is that? Pretty pipe. Big C. That was so bad. Okay. We're short up now. Yeah, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, comments. Please. <laughs> I purposely mess that up every time just to just to piss him off. <laughs> Almost in the field of Anthony's uh, voice range, I guess. Radio radio show uh, style voice. We get a lot of those on the radio. I yeah, no, that trailer. He, I've done like two or three. I've done three trailers with his voice in them now, and they've gone down really well. Like, yeah, I hate doing my own uh, uh, movie voice because it never comes out uh, that, I, that well. I can add yeah, it to it. Uh, At least you I... seem to have gone through puberty completely. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, Dude, you know. should hear me sing. Actually, you shouldn't. It's terrible. Um, I'm still in that stage now where it's like, uh, 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 uh. oh, I get you, man. I'm not incredibly Watch long. Watch out for that tree. <laughs> George, George, George. Uh, uh, I was waiting for you. Are you, you going to sing Let It Go? Let it go. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> I have a friend. Oh, okay. I have a friend called Frozen. Like, that's his, his name is Frozen for Life. That's his, like, that's his gamer tag. Ever since the Frozen movie came out, poor guy, poor guy, you have no idea that. Oh, you can probably sell that gamer tag for a pretty nice mouthful. 
You guys checked out the <laughs> unnecessarily censored version of that song? No, I don't think so. It, it, it just, all they did was add bleeping to it. Yeah. Oh, it's hilarious. It <laughs> is hilarious. Check that out. You guys see the uh, Dragon Ball Z fan made video? Nope. No, I haven't. Oh, I actually want to see oh, that. Oh, my God. Oh, oh she's pretty. pretty. But I could tell you one thing, though, uh, by, by looking at the thumbnail. Wait, what? What? What is Eric looking at? <laughs> I'm going through Facebook for like the first time in a week and looking oh. at the, uh, my. Yes. I'm sorry. I, I well, I just heard you go, wow, she's pretty. And I'm like, uh oh, maybe it's private time for Eric. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I, I have a friend. How can I put it? I have a friend who. Um, like a year ago, we we set up like this biker thing because we like cycling kind of, and uh, we decided that we were going to uh, do this trip across Canada or across part of Canada. We only did like, you know, I don't know, a day's worth of trip. Anyway, um, so we made this entire group and we set everything up, but then we never invited anyone because the plans just kind of fell apart. So like occasionally, like once every two months, one of us will post in the group and just say something like, "Oh man, I can't wait till tomorrow" or something. It's I know it sounds really stupid and probably not funny when I'm explaining it, but it's a. Uh, it's your guy's thing. It's, I get it. It's yeah. hilarious. Yeah. It's your thing. Hopefully, yeah. I, you can't hear the music in the background that my brother's blasting in the room. No, we're good. Okay, cool. Um, I think I'm going to end it because I really need to get to bed and everything. Yeah. Um, just to kind of. Oh. Yeah, CJ looks dead. Um, just to let everybody know, I stream, uh, my schedule's down below or on the side or however the info works, I'm not really sure. Um, I try to make most of those days, but just come by the weekends. Weekends I'm always here. And whenever, um, uh, whenever he does the, uh, uh, the, this podcast, uh, Thursday, Thursday, yes. Thank you. Uh, I will be streaming on Hitbox, just in case his internet connection goes down. We have some source. So. I have no idea what the hell happened there. I don't even want to talk about that. I'm gonna go cry now. Yep. Um. To everybody, uh, uh, hashtag CJ McKay. If you Google hashtag CJ McKay, you'll find the, all my stuff, and my link is in the chat now. The the, the chat's not connecting for me. There we go. Uh, so, so before we go, Eric, did you ever see my intro that um, I used your uh, intro song for? No, I didn't. Oh my god! All right, watch. Uh, Sky. And it's not my intro song. I just want to say that I don't own it. Is this it? Yeah. Oh yeah, I watched this. Huh. I was. I'm. I'm really proud of this. Uh, Intro. He's laughing because it looks like something else when you, your wife's there. I'm just saying. It's I've always thought that. Well, that's 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 the whole reason I put that in. Oh, I really like that man. I watched it a while ago. Out of respect, I will not say anything else. Well, that's the whole reason. Like she took I a really knife and was like transitions. By the way, in OBS, that's really cool. Uh, yeah. It's exploit. That's why. Oh. The, huh. the program that supposedly. We get for free on freedom. Kind Only, of. Kind of. No bad so talking. Be nice, Lewis. You know me, man. I don't care if someone's spying. <laughs> me. They, uh, <sighs> if something's bad on it, I I'll still hmm? talk shit about it. All right. I'm going to go to bed. Guys, thank you so much for coming out. I appreciate yep. it. Um, thank you to all the people who are still in chat and like stuck through this weird end <laughs> phase. I don't even know what to yeah. call it. Yeah. Um, and looks like EA is stupid when you're straw poll. By the way, this is the groggy. <laughs> this is the groggy. Uh, we're sober phase. Yeah. Right um. Actually, I am just going to one more thing in the chat. Um. I don't know if we're playing or not. I don't really care at this stage. But it is a trailer for a $50 giveaway I'm doing this month on my channel. If anyone comments on it, um, I'll reply to them there if they want to know more details about the giveaway. Right. And there's the link. There it is. Yes. 
Oh, so I got a few responses. I just want to kind of put this out there. I got a few responses from people um, when I called out Basher about monetizing his video. He apparently didn't monetize his uh, video, according to Twitter. Um, apparently, he he's on it. Even though, I mean, YouTube says he yeah. he uh, monetized it. We, we it might check. be that it was automatic. Yeah. Well, see, we could check that video and see if he's it's monetized because we have a plugin to. Well, yeah, we have a plugin. Yeah, that that works so, most of the time. Uh, Keemstar is being a real jackass though to bash your verse. Keemstar's always a jackass. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like I, you know, um, I'm, I'm going to tell you guys a secret. Actually, I probably shouldn't say this over stream just for the fact. Yeah, I'm not going to say it over stream. Uh, you know. Yeah, no, that's no, fine. You can tell us after. Yeah. Don't say anything. I swear. I really won't. I have no one to say anything to, so. <laughs> Don't tell Ender. Wow, he is actually <laughs> posting. He's posting things about the newspaper transaction. Like, why is this guy even, like, stop? Just stop. Like, he, he's older, you've already dude, just shot yourself in the foot by telling everybody this. He's older than like, me, and just he's trying stop. to start fights on, on, like, legitimate fights. I'm not even talking about Keemstar. I'm talking about Basher. Oh, okay. Like, just stop. He, he posted the newspaper report, his psychiatric report, his, uh, the actual court document with his information retracted. Hmm. Like, why, <laughs> why are you posting this? <laughs> I'm oh, sorry, that, that just stopped a burrito. Yeah, no, I mean, it's a, a fine burrito. burrito. Oh, 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 oh. oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, oh, oh. By the way, I, I, I should ask, are you, are you uh, Mexican? Did you mention earlier? I can't remember. I'm actually 90% Mexican and 10% Spaniard, I think it was. Huh. All right. Yeah. So you're a Latino brother. Yes, uh, speaking of, uh, you know, my brother is actually... Bienvenidos al show de... God, that's for my Spanish ends. How do you say angry in Spanish again? I've... Los pinche cabrones. Los cabrones que los... <laughs> <laughs> Hablamos uh -huh. de cosas como... No sé. <laughs> Bienvenidos. How do you say video games? Video uh, games. It... It's... <laughs> we have a Spanish word. Yeah. Uh, juegos de video. Yeah, I think that. Uh, Wait, I'm not done. Oh. <laughs> you guys watch any Spanish commercials uh, or listen to any Spanish uh, radio? It's always always that guy that sounds like a, he got hit in the, in the balls by a midget. Uh, sorry if I offended you, if you're small. But let's face it. Bienvenidos. Esto es. Uh, God. Esto es traído para. I forgot. I'm stuttering over my words. This has been brought to you by Crest. Oh, it's it's more like uh, goal. That's usually it's not goal. <laughs> <laughs> not bad for a fat yeah. guy. <laughs> but then, then again, the, the original announcer was pretty big, it was pretty heavy. Uh, the uh, the guy that said that. Yeah. Oh, well. oh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> I swallowed my gum. <laughs> <gasps> oh man, I hate wisdom teeth. I don't have that problem. I have the problem of uh, Dennis wanting to drill holes in my uh, freaking job. Uh... Oh no, they want to cause my wisdom teeth. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Hello! Booty clapper, I love your name. Make a clap. Hey, booty clapper. Sorry, we're this is kind of the rundown phase of our um, podcast. Sorry, I'm not very talkative. I'm my wisdom teeter at me. Yeah, usually right now we would be sobering up. Well, I don't know. He seems like he wouldn't be drinking. I'm sorry, wrong box. Just saying. You look like the kind of guy that doesn't really drink. You're like the guy that's on the, the billboards with milk. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm the guy that has uh, they they put uh, for like a, a some rock band's freaking uh, liqueur. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, random question: uh, uh, band band of choice or album or something like that? Just out of curiosity. Pure curiosity. Bunch. And Bloodline. I actually talk to Bloodline every now and again. They're they got picked up by a record label. I'm very happy. I wish mm. I, I remembered their their song they put out. I have it in the Dropbox for everyone to download. Uh, uh, everyone that's in five star, I can't give it out due to legal reasons. So I'm sorry, yeah. everyone. That's Rubber in Soul by the Beatles. Man, that's a that's a I, w I would say that's a good one. I don't know the song. I had no the, song. the whole album. It's, it's yeah. A, oh, okay. yeah it's, but it's my favorite album of theirs. Okay, I also got to say Slipknot. Dude, one of their DJs performed with a, a freaking in a wheelchair. I, I believe, um, yeah, he was in a wheelchair. I seen him live. And by the way, metalheads are the nicest people in the world. They come up to you. They want when they want you to join in on the mosh pit. Uh, they, they, I remember one guy coming up to me. Hey, man, let's go punch each other in the face. It'll be a lot of fun. But then it wasn't aggressive. It was very strange. Yeah. I gotta say, it's yeah. not aggressive at all. That's I was actually true. watching an old, uh, like it was like an intervention, like a bunch of like stupid, stuck-up parents uh, and Marilyn Manson talking about mosh pits and so on. That was kind of funny. It was uh, interesting. I think I'm gonna have to go, guys, because my headset is causing quite a pretty pressure yeah. on my jaw. Me too. So, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, thank you so much, guys in chat. Ooh. Please feel free to follow and come back anytime. We do crazy co-op stuff all the time. If you'd like to join in, links down below. Everybody's links are somewhere in chat. They can post them again if they want. Um, yeah. I'm gonna go. I've had enough of. Uh, Oh, reading faster versus. I have uh, I have something uh, really important to say. Um, okay, so um, this is probably oh, the most right, important thing anyone in the stream should ever ever hear in their lives. Okay, and I'm going to tell you the big secret is. I ended it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you actually? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you ended the broadcast oh. right there. I'm still broadcasting. He told me to. He told me to do it. I have zero people watching. Go ahead, tell what you're gonna say. Uh. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's funny because. Uh, okay. Go ahead, oh, okay. tell you what you're gonna say. It's never gonna be seen. I promise you that. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, Most the of thing. my followers are just because they they love music and it's like. Uh, uh, Keemstar works done. for oh, yeah. freedom, um, uh, or works with freedom or something like that. Um, I had the displeasure of meeting him, um, kind of. Um, if you guys remember YouTube.com slash gamers at all? Mm, I don't think, think so. I used to run that channel. Mm. I used to run that channel. And um, despite having half the subscribers, uh, the views that I would get in like one video equal the views they get now in an entire week. But that's aside from the point. Uh, they brought Keemstar in because they wanted publicity and all that stuff. I was in that chat for about two days. Holy shit. You think yeah. he's a fucktard in, you know, on camera and in social media? He is yeah. terrible. Yeah. Oh my god. He says he's, he's a, a DJ, but he, he uh, come on. Oh, <laughs> No, he's not a DJ at all. He he was he was lying because I was replying to him and uh, you know uh, because uh, I don't know if you remember. Oh, buddy wants more meat. Okay, there you go, there you go, buddy. Uh, he uh he was he was doing the whole hype video how you how you you know treat your uh, fans, you know? Mm -hmm. and that's really not uh, how you should uh, act. You know that persona he he puts on for everyone. That um, oh, that actually might be him. That asshole mentality. I I've never had that. Not a mentality. persona, huh? That's not a persona. 
Yeah, I yeah, figured it's... as much. Uh, you know, and uh, I was in his network. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Me and, uh, uh, well, Nate doesn't like to talk about it, but he, uh, you you guys know, well, we're not streaming right now, right? Whoa. No. On you guys' channel. No. 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 Well, I'll put it this, no one's going to watch this. Uh, when Game 05 was uh, kind of um, given on uh, to uh, Keemstar. I don't know what happened, but uh, yeah. So I, I I automatically got okay, buddy. I don't know if you can hear my dog. Sorry about that. Uh, oh, I, I, I don't make, uh, automatically got put into that juice, which was awful. Uh, there was no customer support whatsoever. Uh, Nate was uh, working his ass off. Just I feel bad for the the guy. It was awful. Well, all right. So here's here's the story behind that. Um, basically, Anthony was told that he had to dissolve uh, game mode five, and so everybody who was in game mode five got thrown into that juice because um, Keemstar wanted another revenue of money, and that's why he, he wanted a network that that was under his ass or whatever to to start a network, and he wanted a network. He wanted that juice so that he could he could take the people that he scammed. On YouTube and actually provide them with a uh, uh, a network, and so George has always been up Keemstar's ass and just basically let him do whatever he wanted to do. And I, I almost I almost fucking left Freedom because of it because I I just hate the dude. Like I have no respect for him at all. His show is nothing but fucking. Well, it says it in the damn title. It's nothing but drama yeah. and it. it it's so stupid because he never reports anything good. It's always bad. And now he's personally, like, all right, I got it. He, you know, I like, I agree with him in the first place. Like, I don't think what Basher did was right. Like, I don't care. He was 18. He should have known better. He should have said, look, I have feelings for you. Let's wait until you're 17 or 16 or whatever the legal age is where they were. Um, it wouldn't have been more than a year, and he would have been completely fine. So that's all that I'm saying. Like, I'm not saying that, you know, you can't fall in love with somebody who's younger than you. Obviously, you can. You can fall in love with anybody, but mm -hmm. it, it, just he should have fucking waited a year. He, sh you know, yeah. but... And so, like, I agreed with Keemstar on that, but now he's just, like boldly attacking him on Twitter like for absolutely no reason like we you got we got it you said your piece he he did something he fucked up he didn't rape anybody he he yeah. he cybered with a kid and their parents found out through uh, probably the PI who probably had the 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 computer hacked or something and was key logging her her chat and that's how he found out. And they took it and they reported it to the cops. And the cops said, okay, because we have no idea about the internet and how it works. So let's charge him with a misdemeanor and fuck up his life. And, you know, like, I get it. It, it sucks and it probably should have never fucking happened. But, you know, at the same time, he should have been a little bit smarter about the situation. Everybody makes a mistake. Move on. Like, you want to call him out on it and say, you know, that what he did was bad and that you have a, you have a daughter and everything, and if he ever did something like that to your daughter, or if somebody ever did, like, something that's to your daughter, then fine. You absolutely have that right to as a parent. But now he's sitting there and verbally harassing this poor person, you know, internet bullying them because, oh, he won't come on the show of drama alert and talk about it. Like, are you, why would he? You're sitting there verbally yeah. harassing him. I, I'm so sick of that fucker. So sick of him. Uh, you know, uh, that guy was uh, making fun of uh, disabled... Uh, uh, of course he was. Someone disabled on, on Twitter. And the, the one the one time he was on Hitbox, he, he was streaming like this Bitcoin casino, and people were donating him hundreds of fucking dollars to buy uh, Bitcoins on this casino and play. He didn't buy one bit of Bitcoins. He, I think he spent like 200 bucks and and he had over $1,000 in donations. He just pocketed all that money. And all the video games that he creates and then never actually makes? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You know, I, I've, I've almost, I feel like that guy's going to be the downfall of Freedom Man. And he's, he's just the big uh, you know, black sheep of the whole thing. And, and 
Yeah. Actually, here's the thing. Him and... Oh, when, I actually when I really have, agree with you, man. When I try to have... I'm sorry about buddy there. Uh, oh, when, you're I fine. To, when I try to have people uh, join, uh, DJs mostly, like I said, they know about Keemstar, and they say, oh, this is a scandal. This is a scam. Man. I can't get past that. So, uh, and it's not just him. It's also Shoe Dick. Um, that, that's a joke on the play on Shoe Nice. Yeah. Um, another... I, I don't know why, just because is they're he, big. Is he freedom still with stuff. Freedom? I believe so. Um, because uh, the other, I, I think like a few months ago, he was trying to blackmail Freedom for 50 bucks. And, he does uh, it all the time. And, PayPal uh, me 200 bucks or I'm going to make a video yeah. about how bad Freedom is. Yeah. And the worst part is he does it publicly. I don't know why Freedom keeps putting up with it. I, I don't understand. He doesn't get that many views. Like Exactly. I mean, he gets, he gets a lot of views. Like, he's a big er YouTuber. But, like... You could if getting rid of him, getting rid of Keemstar, and getting rid of that publicity that they bring would would benefit Freedom so much more. Uh, but they're not going to do it because they want they, they. George had a really good idea. Uh, it was to partner anyone and everyone and give everybody a chance to make it big. That was a really good idea. The problem with that is that it brings a lot of people that just give up after a few months. Um, and then what also happens is you bring in people who don't try very hard, that don't make good content, things like that. And it, 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 he needed uh, bigger YouTubers. The problem is, is that everybody looks at Freedom and all they see is beginner YouTubes, YouTubers, noobs, things like that. Um, I pretty much can go through Freedom Chat and like pick out five different people and all of them will be under 100 subs. And it's nothing, it's not a knock against Freedom. Everybody has to start someplace. And Freedom get, does give away a lot of free stuff for being a member. And it's probably to try to attract bigger YouTubers. But the problem is, and this is what I've noticed from actually running a network with Freedom, is that it is very hard to try to, to sign anyone to the network that is over a thousand subs. Yep. This is true. Um, yeah. So. Another another thing is, you say nobody. Uh, another thing is, uh, um, some of these people that uh, the smaller YouTubers they kind of expect too much. You get what I'm saying? Oh, big fact, oh, man. I, I know they're not watching the stream, but they quit. They quit YouTube. Uh, they signed on with us, and uh, they were they were trying to have me do a guarantee with them, and they're they're only. Uh, they only had 80 subs, and not to badmouth them if they are watching the stream. But you, you got to realize you got to put in work. It's like anything. You gotta, you gotta have your Twitter. You gotta, you gotta post on on all social medias. Uh, you gotta post on all social medias, or you're not gonna grow. You know, it, freedom isn't uh, isn't a, you know like a, a magical growth hormone. Freedom is a, kind of like a workshop which provides you the tools. Yeah, you can use yeah. them or you can not use them. Either way, if you do some, if you don't, you know, put in the effort, if you don't put in the work, get lost. I mean, you you, you know, stop fucking trolling everyone and emailing support. Poor support, poor support team. Oh my the, god, the shit yeah. they have to put up with. Yeah, yeah. no, definitely, man. Uh, like uh, we we had uh, what's it? Uh, Rippy, I forgot. Was he keeps changing his goddamn name? See Rip. Uh, do you remember, uh, Subby? He kept... He kept, what? uh... Who? Uh, he keeps changing his name, but he was in our network. He he hasn't made... Uh, I haven't talked to him in months now. Uh, but he keep uh, he kept asking me, why am I not growing? I, I made a video six months ago, and I'm not growing. <laughs> and he was dead serious. And I, I said, well, you're, you're not going to grow with just making one video. You're not going to get rich you know what? off of YouTube. He should grow a pair. No. Nah. <laughs> Sorry. I just... No. Oh. <laughs> That's, uh... That's my fun for tonight. <laughs> I'm, I'm back to reading my Basher, Basher versus, uh... You, uh, Twitter again. I'm, like, I'm, still I'm just sitting here. Show. So it's Look, all, okay. I'm, I'm gonna post this on my YouTube. The whole thing, not edited, because uh, that that bandwidth, that Comcast bandwidth, though. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I'm I'd rather. I mean, I mean, is anyone streaming right now? And just want to double check. 
No. Nope. All right. I, I am, but no one viewers. So say what you want to say, man. No one's, no one's gonna. Are you gonna be uploading it at all, or? No one's gonna stop, stop streaming. Stop streaming. Right now? <laughs> stop all streaming. Right.